All the night that Argentina won the World Cup, I'm recording this video. If you're watching it today, you know what I'm talking about. If you're watching this video later on, you can think back to that magical 3-3 three, three night back there in December. I'm your boy Vivalo FIFA and Travel Legend are watching the most overpowered Serie A players. Sit back, relax, do you love the video, click the i button and don't forget to watch this series for the Premier League, the La Liga, the Bundesliga and so much more to become the king of FIFA. Give a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to build yourself a dream team but you have no coins in FIFA, don't worry, head over to u7buy.com, the best possible spot for your FUT23 coins. And if you use the code VIVA when you're making the payment, you will receive millions of coins for a couple of bucks. Hit it up right away, click the link now. We are starting off with the goalkeepers. And in all honesty, I must say the goalkeepers in the Serie A, in comparison with the Ligue 1, Donnarumma, Kayla Navas, Premier League, Alison Becker, Ederson Marias, and also the La Liga, Oblak, Marc-André Ter Stegen, Thibaut Courtois, it is a little bit disappointing. So if you have to go for a goalkeeper, Chesney or Mike McNaw. If you're starting off with FIFA, Andre Onana is the best option for 1k. If you go to Vicario, the goalkeeper of Ampoli, you're actually going to 10k because, well, he's just a team of the week player and his quick selling value is 9.9k. So that's why you pay too much. So for example, you could rather go maybe for Chesney, 86 Raider or Mike McNaw, they will do a better job for you. But once again, in the Serie A in FIFA 23, the goalkeeper position is a little bit disappointing. But don't worry, all the other ones are super overpowered. Here we have the cheapest center backs to cash for you. You can see it. Kalulu is actually trading for 600 coins. He's the best cheap center back you can get in the game and probably also one of the well, only non-rare cards in my video series then. Tomori and Skriniar. Tomori is trading for around 5k at the moment and Skriniar is a little bit more expensive. If you like Virg van Dijk, his World Cup card, Simon Skriniar, uh, Simon Kjar, I must say, not Skriniar, Simon Kjar of AC Milan, the Danish Dynamo team, is a great option for a cheap centre-back. And Denzel Dumfries, the Dutchie, he can play, of course, as a right-back in real life, but his centre-back card is just something different. 84 speed, 91 physicality, he's like Ronald Koeman on steroids. For example, the center backs are full of quality players. If you want to get the best cheap ones, listen up. You can go for normal gold card, Bremer, Kim Min Jao and Tomori. Exactly, the three players you can see with their special cards. But if you don't have the coins, don't worry, for 1k each, Bremer, Kim Min Jao and Tomori gold cards will be yours. You can see if you like the upgraded version, you actually go to 50, 60k instantly. So that is just my tip. Don't click through the video because I will tell you so much more to listen closely to. And then Ivan Cordoba, the center back of Colombia and back in the pause of Inter Milan, of course, hero like a hero should be, super good looking card. And Lucio, the centre-back of Brazil and Inter Milan as well, is one of the kings of the centre-back position ever in the FIFA game. From the centre-backs to the full-back, starting off with the right-back position, what are you looking for in the right-back? Pace, defending, good physicality, but also dribbling and passing is quite important. The best cheap option is either Sardinho Dest, he's great with his dribbling, Ricardo, very quick and powerful, or Giovanni Di Lorenzo, who's also a great right back. For me, the best right back you can get, and he's still pretty cheap, is Juan Cuadrado, and of course, Denzel Dumfries, his World Cup card. But that is a quite expensive one. So if you want to stay in a tight budget, you can choose either of these players. Cuadrado will be my main man for that. And if you have more to spend, the best right back in the Serie A, without any doubts, is Denzel Dumfries. The left back position is a TU Hernandez party. You can see it, guys. His normal card, his first in form, and his team of the group stage or team of the tournament card, I believe it is, of the World Cup is the best left back out there. Left hand side, TU Hernandez. Right hand side, Denzel Dumfries. And if you don't have the money for that, Spinazzola is 1k. Super cheap option, still brings a lot of qualities. And Mario Rui, who is there as one of the best in forms in the Serie A for a small budget. Leaving the defensive line behind us and starting off with the CDM, Santa Mid, and the Cams on the midfield. CDM is quite simple cheap, Sandro Tonali. Perfect, complete player. 
His finishing is the lowest attributes, but for the rest, he's a great skiller. Zambu Anguiza of Napoli. Yes, a bowler, a really good bowler. 87 rated on that midfield. The man of Cameroon is holding your midfield close together. And the best CDM you can use at the moment is Marcela Brozovic of the Croatian national team, winning the bronze medal at the World Cup, gaining Brozovic a 90 rated card, the best one out there. From CDM to Central Mid, and there we find so many beautiful beautiful players. Once again, listen closely. If you don't have a big budget, normal Barella, normal Rabiot are great cheap sentiments for you to use from Juve and Inter. You can also see on this page their special card. So it's up to you who do you desire the most and what's your budget. Gini Wijnaldum is almost a root gullet gang member and Milinkovic Savic is a powerful player in the air and on the pitch. The best sentiment without any doubts is the man that he could play in the Lord of the Rings movie. Look into that picture is Claudio Mar a Juventus hero is there with his 88 rating, already in a red gullet gang member, but Marquisio feels like the best player you can get. The camp position is something incredible in the Serie A. So many cheap talents. Paul Dybala, World Cup winner, scoring a penalty in the final penalty shootout at the World Cup. So yep, he's in there for a cheap price. Lorenzo Pellegrini, his teammate for a full chemistry side. Zielinski from Napoli, a great combo that could be with Zambo and Guiza. If you're looking for a hybrid squad, for example, then Paul Dybala, his one to watch card, is also outgrowing a lot of icons and heroes with the Quality. For example, Hirdishu Nakata, the Fiorentina legend and the man of Japan is a beautiful looking card. But if I have to give you some, well, advice, Paul Dybala feels better in the game. Going to the attacking position, starting off on the right hand side and I feel a little bit ashamed to show you this. This is the best I can do for the right wing position in the Serie A. Felipe Anderson, 1K. For everybody getting this game around Christmas, I know the budget isn't that big, so he's okay to start off with. Iconi is around 25K. It's a big upgrade in comparison with Felipe Anderson. And when it ended up the best possible right winger is the Mexican Messi hooving Chucky Lozano with 97 speed, 88 dribbling, 80 straight shooting, and 80 passing. He's just a powerful right winger. But if you're on a small budget, the right wing side is a little bit disappointing. I would say go for a 4 2 2 2 formation, for example, with Centomates, CDMs, and Camps, because as I told you, the wing is quite horrible in the Serie A. In all honesty, the left hand side is looking a lot better, but that is not world class as well. Kostic, Chiesa, nice options. Inform Lozano is a good opportunity as well, although his right wing position is a lot better. Rafael Leao, that is a bowler. 80. 6 rated, but feeling like a 90 plus rated card, give him a chance, I love him in all the games I play him. The best one is Shapeshifter T. Hernandez, but you might use him in this team as a left back or else, well, you don't have a good left back. So then once again, Serie A team, I recommend play with camps, center forwards and strikers and skip the wing position. Then we go to the final two pages, two pages full of strikers. If you love the video, leave a like, subscribe and put on the notification bell. There we have Moise Keen. This 86 rated inform card is something special. With 91 speed, 86 dribbling, 85 shooting, he's a super powerful finisher. Try him out. Lukaku at the World Cup, he was quite disappointing, but his card is looking good. Zeko, rule breaker, is a, well, an older card. He's there for a couple of months, but still pretty decent. World Cup card, Olive Giroud. If you like Giroud on steroids, that is what he is. A quick version of Ali 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 Vigiru. And then the winner of the World Cup once again, Lautaro Martinez. When I'm recording this video, he's still 89 rated. Can he go up any further? I don't think so, but well, he might get an upgrade to 90 if that's possible. I'm not quite sure, but well, the man, he did nothing really good. He scored the winning penalty against the Netherlands in a penalty shootout, I believe. Yes, it was. But for the rest, in the FIFA game, he's a nice looking dude. Then we have the absolute elite strikers in Italy. Antonio Di Natale, the man of Udinese of the Zebras, is there for the long shot. 90 speed, 90 dribbling, 91 shooting. You can go from Di Natale at the start of FIFA until the end of FIFA. That is how good he is. Frank Ribéry, that's a bowler right there. 90 rated. He feels like we some Ben in his best days in the older FIFAs, but then even better. That is how good Ribéry is. The heroes of the World Cup, Brolin of the Swedish national team, and Rudy Villar. They are just magnificent. If you can get a combo of those two players, well, 
Congratulations, you'll probably win every single game. And then, the best striker in the Serie A. It is not Villar, it is not Brolin Ribery or Di Natale. Nope, it is Rafael Leao. His World Cup card as well. 96 speed, 91 dribbling, 85 shooting. His finishing might be not as clinical as Villar, Brolin, Ribery and Di Natale. But trust me, this guy is next level so boys who will you use who will you buy drop it down below in the comment section and i will respond if you liked the vid leave a like it will mean the world to me subscribe for more and put on the notification bell thanks for watching and click the icon to watch more videos and become a mastermind in football and fifa bye bye